I'm going to show you how to make this Christmas card painting directly onto watercolour paper. Let's get started. Now, as I'm wetting the sky air with my large brush, I've mixed up some Payne's Grey and Violet and some Violet on its own. And I'm starting at the top of the sky and I've actually got my board on a slight tilt as well. It sort of helps the paint to run down nicely. And I'm really loading that brush. It's a size 10 round brush. I'm working my way down to the horizon line painting wet into wet. The reason why the paint isn't running onto the tree is I didn't wet the tree. So areas that you don't wet, the paint won't run into. So there's no need for masking fluid here. So I'm just sort of carefully using the tip of my brush and the paint that's already on the paper and just sort of painting into the branches of the tree there using a number four round brush here with a mixture of forest green and Payne's grey but you could use viridian and black if you wanted to and I'm painting wet into wet the sort of very distant tree so all of these marks I'm painting here will become quite fuzzy and it just gives the illusion of distant trees and as I work on I'm going to make that paint slightly creamier and the paper will dry off a little bit there'll still be a sheen on the paper and I'll actually paint some of those trees damp into damp using thin line in the middle to show the trunk of the tree and then sort of painting either side of it damp into damp to create the look of these fir trees. Just finishing off with a few more darks there, sort of tapping on damp into damp and I'm going to allow my painting to dry. 
Once your painting is dry, you can paint that shadow to the left there. I'm using ultramarine with a touch of the violet and a tiny touch of Payne's grey just to make it more of a shadow colour. So I'm painting this wet on dry with my size 10 brush. I'm just adding a little bit more dark just underneath the tree there to the left, just a little bit of a stronger cast shadow, adding a little bit more of the Payne's grey, painting damp into damp directly under the tree. There are some footsteps in the snow so I'm using that shadow colour with the tip of my size 10 brush painting wet on dry these footsteps and they're just going to get a little bit paler and a bit smaller as they go off into the distance. I'm using a bouquet technique using a circular stencil with a magic sponge you can use an ordinary sponge it's damp and it's clean and I'm lifting off the paint there um, just using this circle stencil as a guide so there's a lovely moon in the sky here just using my paper towel to lift off more if you want to know more about this technique check out the links in the description below I've produced lots of fun videos there so I've actually included, this is not in the photograph, just a little cardinal bird. I've also produced a lovely video of a close-up of a cardinal bird. If anyone's interested in that, a link for that can be found in the description below. But I've just sort of drawn a really small, small basic sort of shape there and just painting it red and keeping it really simple. I think it's a good time to allow my painting to dry again. I've watered down some white gouache. I'm using my size 10 brush and I'm spattering white gouache onto the dried surface. I've watered down the gouache slightly. You may want to cover up other areas just in case you get this white paint on it, but it's good fun to do. Again, it's a good time to dry the painting. I'm using my size 6 brush here and just painting the snow on the branches here. I am not, haven't watered down the white as much here it's quite creamy I really want it to stand out and look very Christmassy you can actually paint the snow on the branches before you spatter as well you can see there I'm taking off some of the excess paint on my paper towel so the paints not too wet I'm using the side of my brush and just sort of scrubbing to create texture as well As you saw there, I gave the painting another little spatter. If you've got some blobs that you don't like, just lift them off with a paper towel. So I'm gonna allow my painting to dry yet again, and I am removing the washi tape and it's going to reveal a lovely white border for the card which is quite nice to present your work this way as well so as you can see it's coming off really nicely there and actually the tape looks quite festive as well so here is the finished card I'm really pleased with it I really hope it inspires you to paint a Christmas card this one was lovely and simple with lots of fun techniques as well if you like the content I create on YouTube, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? You can get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials and downloadable line drawings. Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Happy painting. Bye for now.